All right, guys. So those that do and do not know, I am going to start incorporating a new segment to the show. Probably see by the hat. Those that are watching on YouTube, which is a nice hat. Love this hat. A segment, I'm going to try to think of a name, but I think I'm going to call it One Upon a Time. You know, like one and upon a time. I'm still trying to work that out. If you guys have any great suggestions in the comments, please throw them down below. I would really appreciate that because I struggle with that sometimes. So when it comes to the uh, the segment, this episode is going to be on the single A affiliate, Canapolis Cannonballers. Yes, I also had to look up where they were too. Like when I first found them, I was like, Canapolis, where is that? I even asked people where I work, where it is. They kept saying, Texas, Oklahoma, and Georgia? No, it's not. Neither of those. It's in North Carolina. Again, single A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. They play their games at Atrium Health Park. Again, in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Kannapolis is also the hometown of the late NASCAR driver and the great Dale Earnhardt. Dale was a part owner of the town's previous team. Now, Kannapolis started as a textile mill town at the turn of the 20th century when James Cannon founded Cannon Mills, which for a period of time was the world's largest producer of sheets and towels. When they rebranded, from what they were previously known, which was the Kannapolis Intimidators. I like cannonballs better, just saying. They wanted to incorporate both aspects of the town's history as much as they could. So the Cannonballers were born. Now, Boomer, their mascot, their logo, pays homage to Dale with the signature mustache and the open-faced helmet. I think that's awesome. Nowadays, we see, like, first off, I love their stuff. If you haven't seen their apparel, go to their website. Again, I'll put their website below as well in the on the YouTube channel. Those like that are listening but not able to see, go on YouTube as well. Those on YouTube are like, what's going on? I also take this audio and put it to the podcast too. So like whatever. Anyways, when it comes to like logos and backgrounds and like histories of them, I think this is such a cool history for how Boomer was created. I think you just don't see you don't see a lot of this anymore. I understand like the like, jersey uniforms are made for like NFL teams and like college football teams, and they make all these different jersey combinations. Like all oh, these pays homage to this and this and this. But I think there's just so those I'm I'm cool with. I'm fine with that. But for an overall logo to be developed and the reason why it was developed, I think it's so cool to learn the history of it. And Boomer being developed the way he was, I think it's awesome. If you ever have the opportunity, if I'm ever in Kannapolis, I will definitely go to a game. Like there's zero doubt. I live in Florida, so it's a little bit of a drive. If you ever have an opportunity to support these teams, go for it, man. I think minor league baseball hats, just saying, are better looking. Like it's not every single one because there are some minor league hats. I'm like, whoa, don't know who designed that one. But there are other minor league hats that I'm like, wow, this looks really nice. Like I own, I own a couple. Um, and I'm hoping to, you know, build this segment up in the show and to continue to build the progress and the podcast. But I want to, I want to thank Kannapolis again. I've been talking with Brent over there. Such a nice guy. I want to thank him. I want to thank everyone over there in Kannapolis before, you know, just allowing me the opportunity to one, wear this amazing hat, send this hat my way and, you know, continue to support them and, I definitely tune into games whenever I can. It's if this is my only job, I really would. But you know, thank you again, Canapolis Cannonballers, for this. And again, guys, go go to a game, watch a game if you can, order something from their site. I think that that it's really cool what they, how they became this logo, where they play, the history behind the town. I think it's really cool how it all became possible for them.